Hi, my name is Logan Close, and I'm a producer, singer, and songwriter from the Billboard 500 Club's private mentorship program with Adam McInnes. Thank you so much for tuning into the Music Industry Contact YouTube channel where we do hit song breakdowns, demo critiques, and have a wealth of music industry-related information for you to check out at any time. Today we're breaking down Dreamcatcher's Reason. I've never heard this band, group, or song before. I'm very excited. I'm going in blind. As you know, though, we cannot monetize these videos, so we would love to have you as part of our Patreon Golden Ear community, which gives you exclusive early access content, including videos and polls for selecting our next song breakdowns. If you're already supporting, thank you so much. And if you'd like to join, just click the link in the description below. Thank you again. Let's get into Dreamcatcher's Reason. All right, I don't really want to waste any time. I have no idea who this group is. I don't know if I've I've seen anything or heard anything by them. Let's just get right into it and see what we can learn. I wonder if there's captions. Oh. Reason. Damn. Okay. I love the imagery and the symbolism. Wow. Wow. I love the, the drums. Wow! Whoa! Yeah! Okay! What? Wow! Yeah, this is so awesome. What? The vibe is incredible. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. I don't want to stop it, but like I'm <laughs> usually I, well, the general formula is we go up to the chorus and go back, but this is just so good. What? Oh my goodness. I love them. What the heck? I think I just, wow. That, I think I have a new favorite band. What the heck? I was not expecting that at all. I love the drum tone. I think that it's MIDI drums. It just sounds so perfect, but I'm not sure. I mean, nothing wrong with MIDI drums. I love the vibe that they're setting. The guitar tone is hairy. It's like gnarly. Wow. Okay, let's just go right back to the- I want to get to the rest of this song and hear this as quickly as possible. So we're going to do a speed run at breaking down the first half of this. I love the video too, by the way. Like, they're obviously a massive group. Huge impact. I can tell why. The song is amazing. And just like the reason, making a song for your fans like that. That is huge, and I just, I think that, yeah, it's, it's, this is a moving piece of music, which is, it, I don't want to say it doesn't happen too often, but this is a very special kind of song, and I love that. Wow, Listen. let's go part by part. Let's So, so far we've heard like an intro that really grabs attention. It's very um, reminiscent of just heavy metal music, but they're doing in it in a way that's like the, having female singers on heavy metal music is one of my favorite things. I can't, I, can't, uh, I mean, it, bring, it reminds me of every time I hear a female singer doing heavy metal music, it reminds me of like the Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, like the Call of Duty soundtracks from 
the like late 20 2000s um especially like world at war and uh, that era like, like associating that with like the nazi zombies kind of thing that whole vibe of it's emotional but it it just shows the it shows the power of the female voice in a in a new way that um yeah any chance to hear something like that i will never say no it's incredible and their voices are just gorgeous and and you can tell that they're it, they come across as very genuine people you know it seems a lot like with the um videos that we i think that's the purpose of the video is to show that they are just real people and that they're grateful for the career you know so this is this is a shot that for example is supposed to exemplify the um to, to put them in sort of a, a modern piece of art like to fit into the industry but these are these are real people with real lives um who have had the opportunity to perform in front of thousands of people and it shows the hard work and effort that they've done in order to get there which is just so awesome i love this video this song the imagery Dreamcatcher is very interesting i know that that's um something that is very uh yeah like it's very cultural and not something that i've seen mixed with this kind of music before which is super interesting um let's go to the verse i love the tone of the bass and the way that the drums sort of calm down to make room for the voice like they're still using pop tactics even, I mean, it's music, right? You have to control energy and you have to manage energy properly in order to make impact in different sections here. So. I want to point out at any opportunity that I can, I try to do this in every video, the um, power of three there. If you've never heard that term before, it's basically when you do something one time, do it again, change it up on the third time or continue to do it the same thing and then change it up on the fourth time. So there's lots of different formulas. There's like three or four, you can argue, but it's same, same, different, different, same, 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 different. Um, you'll notice that a lot with like Led Zeppelin and ACDC with the riffs being three times around or even like uh, music like Slayer or uh, just just generally speaking, we love that subconscious kind of turnaround thing. It keeps things interesting um, and it gives us that repetitive circular motion. Um, in that riff, da 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 you know, it changes up on the fourth time. Just pointing that out there if that's something you've never been aware of before. Just the bass and the kick, so awesome. And the snare there. Wow. So this pre-chorus is highly in contrast to the first half of the verse crazy i was noticing the the lack of background vocals in the verse and i was wondering if i liked it or not but i and i actually i think i like it because we go into this thing where they completely do 180 very emotional bass kick snare type of thing they're telling us something and it's and it's authentic and then they go into this really like drivey thing I, I don't know what the the lyrics are speaking on wow i grew up getting hit and beaten everyone said i was wow so i also want to point out i don't know if you heard that they had the stacked harmonies super wide in contrast to the verse and then but they also um layered underneath they had obviously the main vocals pitched down an octave in order to um, fill in that low mid frequency space, which is really exciting. I um, mean, I think it, it it gives it that like um, I don't want to. Heavy metal music is normally associated with you know like kind of demonic, satanic imagery, and so over time we've started to associate that really low, scary voice with um, that type of music, and I love it. I think it's just. Um, and, and obviously because, you know, most heavy metal music uses imagery like pentagrams and is is very in that world, like admittedly it, using that symbolism. So hearing their voices do that, I also a group like I, I don't have um, a good enough ear to like pick out when each singer is singing. Like, I think if I listen to the band more, I'd be able to do that. Um, but uh, and 
either way, like just bringing that like f that imagery in the dark thing, and it's really uh, exemplifying the vocals. That's really cool. So, if in any genre of music you're trying to associate something with heartache and pain and and depravity and and just like going through hard things, bringing in those effects and the imagery that's associated with grander symbolism in the world is very interesting. I said we were doing a speed run and this just got me talking, so we gotta keep going through. Oh, it's so awesome. Wow, look at those notes. She's up there singing, she is singing. Wow. Adding in this background chant over top of the intro. Genius, it keeps it interesting. This is so good. I can hardly catch the time passing by. But I have faith because we always move on. Yeah, one minute like a year. Make hundred and two million I hold. The key for springing to the high place. We don't fight. I can see the light on our own path. No pre, I love that. Wow. Wow. Okay, before we go any further, I just want to point out the way that the chorus has impact is because it contrasts the rest of the song. They go into these massive, singy, powerful sections, right? Contrast is so important in order to give impact in a song. And the way that they were singing in the in the first part of the verse, reserved, emotional, very like reliant on the delivery. Um, and then by the time that they get to that chorus, the crashes on the drums, smash, smash, da, da, da. Like, this is just such high energy to see this live. I would go and see them. I've never heard of these people before, but I hope that I get given some more dream catcher to break down. This is amazing. This is phenomenal. I'm very excited for this bridge. I loved how they didn't do the pre-chorus again, because why? You don't need to. Let's keep the energy moving. By the time we're getting to this part of the song, all I want is another dose of that massive chorus, and their vocals are so good. Like, their voices are incredible. <laughs> That's unreal. Oh, wow. Bringing back the chant from the original post. Oh, no way. And then... <laughs> Bringing back the free at the end. I could cry. Holy. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. That is one of the most moving pieces of music I've ever heard in my entire life. That is unreal. Oh no, they're, I mean, I'm not going to say no to hearing a different one of their songs. Like, we got, that was honestly, wow. Okay, just that bridge, the way that they are, instead of adding new sections, they're just pulling back such good parts from, from the past and making them new again and, and providing new context for something that you've already written, you know? There's no sense in doing a brand new bridge when you have so many good parts that you could just give new life and meaning to. You know, use what you have. Why would you ha Why would you overwork yourself? And it's so good. And bringing back the pre-chorus to end the song, oh, it just goes to show that every piece of this is a hook in some way, right? 
every piece is catchy. There's no part of the song that you're like, ah, oh, can we just get to the next part? It's good the whole way through. And like the imagery, the video, I have no idea who these people are, but I want to, and I believe everything that they're saying, and it's so real and raw and authentic. That's honestly, it's honestly phenomenal. That was that was one of the best songs I think I've ever heard. I can't believe that. And I mean, it gets me in that kind of like rebellious mood again when I was a few years ago being a teenager listening to Slayer, listening to... All like listening to heavier music with the guitars and that that really brings in that power that that no other type of music has. It has such a raw sense of tenacity and just excitement that no other sense of music has. And oh, it makes me want to go and write something like this. That is so awesome. I can't believe that. Honestly, that was one of the. I yeah. I mean, those were kind of my final thoughts, but. If you enjoyed this video and it provided you some kind of value, it just would really, it really would mean a lot if you would like and subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out. On top of that, if you're a musician, producer, songwriter, or singer looking to grow in any way, the Billboard 500 Club is for you. It's where I've been for the last two years and it's changed my life. Um, the network is incredible. The people are incredible. The information is incredible. I've met some of my best friends um, of all time in there and uh, just like-minded people who are chasing after everything that you could think of and there's over 70 mentors who are some of the most successful in the industry teaching up-and-coming musicians producers singers songwriters executives whoever you are um you're welcome and we want to help you grow and to grow alongside you either way this song was incredible i think it speaks for itself i was nearly in tears there if this wasn't recording i would have been so just like <laughs> Yeah, wow, that is an amazing, that is an amazing song. I'm definitely going to look these people up and figure out when I can see them live because that was amazing. But uh, my name is Logan Close. My social media is in the description. Hit me up. I'd love to chat. Um, I will see you in the next song breakdown. Talk to you very soon. Bye-bye now. Oh